let's take a look at arrays. All right, welcome back to the Java introduction here for Minecraft and Hightail modding. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at arrays. Now I've already prepared the strings for the questions and answers, which you might have made in the actual first exercise. Now, when it comes to arrays, you can think of arrays as sort of a list. That's the very like easy idea. Now lists are something even more special. There are a sort of, you know, a type of array, so to speak. Uh, let's say for beginners, that should make sense. If you're more advanced, more intermediate, you might start to sort of rip your hair out at the explanation here. Calm down, everyone. This is a beginner tutorial, so we're not going to go too into it. If there's a few things here, uh, it's going to be fine. So let's think about it the following way. So we have three different questions here. If we wanted to have a fourth question, we would have to copy this over, rename this, so on and so forth kind of tedious and also it's it's a little weird right because we can't really do anything with you know each of them that we can only do things with them individually and not sort of together for that we can use a uh, an array and we're going to make a string array so we're just going to type in string just like we've done previously and then we're going to put in these two brackets here signifying that this is an array now we're going to call this the questions just like that and this is going to be equal to new and then you can see that the Suggestion here already suggests me the string array. So I can just press the tab key to complete this. And you can see that the actual cursor is inside of these brackets because we have to specify how large or how big this list is, so to speak, how big this array is. We're just going to put in three because, of course, we have three questions here. And then we end this with a semicolon. And just like this, we have created a new string array. Now, overall, this shouldn't be too crazy. This is just a normal when you think about it this is just a normal declaration of a variable right just we have these you know brackets here that's fine and then we set this to a new string array which has three elements in it now how can i assign you know strings to this array well what i can do is i can say questions you can see that it actually already comes up here and then i put the same brackets in here and then i put in a zero here for example and then equals and then let's just copy over this for the sake of argument here right? Control C, Control V to paste it in here. And now I have actually set the first element of this array to, well, this string. Now, many of you might ask, wait, but this is a zero in here, not a one. Yes, that's exactly right. Like we've already seen with strings, we start counting at zero. This is something that happens in most programming languages. There are a few exceptions. However, because we are here in Java, we're going to be basically counting starting at a zero. So very important, the first element has index zero. So this is the index of this element, basically. And I will just duplicate this two times, pressing control D. And we're going to also put in the second and the third element. So with index one and index two, I'm just going to copy over the questions from above here, just selecting them, pressing control C and then control V to paste them in. And now let's just see. So how would I be able to output this? Well, we can just put in a system out print line and then I could say questions so we're going to take the questions here and for example zero and this way you actually get this sort of return right so we get this string that is written inside of the index zero returned so if I actually run this you can see that how many states does the USA have is actually printed out here totally fine nothing crazy and I could reassign this again right so I could change this once again like no issues whatsoever so if I put this one in here, for example, I could now ask something like, because I, why not, right? How old is Ian McGregor? Right, and then let's add in 2021 as well, just because <laughs> let's just be very specific. And then I'll copy this once again, selecting it, Control C, Control V. And in here, we're going to now have the new question that is being output. As you can see, now the new question is being output. So that's pretty much really all that there is for the questions. What we're going to do is we're also going to add the answers as a string array here. So we're going to make a new string. And then once again, array, making it with these brackets here, all this answers. And this is an equal to a new string array. No, nope, a new string array. There you go. Width of size three, basically. And then once again, it pretty much is the same, right? So it's going to be answers zero, which is equal to 50. Right, and then we'll duplicate this twice, control a D to duplicate this, and then this is just gonna be London. 
and then this is going to be fe now overall i can then also let's say print out answers not answers one but answers zero there you go right and now when i put this in you can see how many states that does the usa have 50 that's pretty much pretty much it and i can even because of course you know i'm i'm not gonna go crazy this is actually the correct answer by the way you can double check this if you want to um this is this is why i added in 2021 so that's kind of important but yeah so as you can see you now have the ability to to add to this now there's one well exception that i wanted to show i've already shown you a few other errors that you might come you know come across and this is going to be the array index out of bounds exception and then we're going to say uncomment line below simply because of the fact that i'm going to write something in the line below which i'm going to uh, comment out in a moment so this is going to be system out print line and then let's say i actually want to access a question three so okay well, i mean why not right questions three now in this case it's actually going to give me uh, a warning here that doesn't always happen especially when you get into more complicated uh, code basically then you will not have explicitly stating the actual number here it's going to be a variable in here of course that's which of course also would work now if i wanted to access number three we're going to get this array index out of bounds exception let's just run this and you will see there you go exception in main thread and there you go array index out of bounds exception index three out of bounds for length three what does that mean well the array has a particular length so we can actually comment this out here let's actually get the length of this array so we can do questions dot and there's a lot of stuff in here we're not going to worry about any of this we're only going to worry about the length so if i run this we'll of course get length three this is exactly what we have defined right here so that's that should be, be fairly obvious right we we're defining the length here and when we try to access the element with index three that doesn't work because once again we start counting at zero that's very important so this is one of the number one mistakes that uh, beginners make it's totally understandable and not an issue at all i just wanted to you know really reinforce this you start with zero therefore if you have three elements the index with the element with the highest index is going to be two right so that's very important so this is um it's not something to really like think about and consider now you will probably get this array index out of bounds exception quite a few times just because it, it, it can happen you know it happens uh, but this is also why i wanted to show you this because that's actually quite important here now overall arrays can seem a little daunting i will absolutely admit and i usually tell a little like funny story about this when i started programming in university uh, and we got to the part where we you know arrays were introduced i didn't understand them at all right they were not very well explained and i was like i don't need arrays at all i'm just gonna do it with individual variables here and all of that that's of course first of all that's just a very bad uh, way to approach this number one because just because you don't understand something doesn't mean that it's useful uh useless r rather right because usually you know if it exists then there's probably a use case for it and arrays actually are an incredibly useful tool now we are going to see like i said lists in a later tutorial which are going to be even better however in this moment arrays are actually really really nice and useful for us now we will have you know a few more things that we can do with arrays that we're also going to see in later tutorials here but for the time being of course you know this might be a little more complex then of course feel free to ask any questions in the comments below if i can then i will try to answer all of them best to my ability but otherwise we would be at the end of this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would of course appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one so yeah